In November 2026, Voyager 1 will reach a significant milestone. The probe will then be 25.9 billion kilometers from Earth, exactly one light day. Signals now take 24 hours to travel that distance, but every radio message from the probe from the interstellar medium is like a scientific jackpot. Since its launch in 1977, Voyager 1 has completed an incredible journey and opened up a real window to the outer limits of our solar system for the first time. It has shown us the mighty gas giants up close, discovered unknown moons, measured magnetic fields, and finally made the magical leap into interstellar no man's land. It's incredible that a particle of light takes just one day to travel 25.9 billion kilometers. But the Voyager 1 probe took almost 50 years. But no one would dream of complaining about this long journey, because the insights gained by the most widely traveled space probe in human history are still unparalleled today. Of course, there have been many faster probes that have delivered even better images over the years. But Voyager 1 and 2 were pioneers of space exploration, and they remain unique. Although they had reached old age, they continued to set records and deliver data that had never been seen before and is unlikely to be surpassed anytime soon. Since crossing the heliopause in 2012, Voyager 1 has been sending data from interstellar space, a region no other spacecraft has ever reached before. There, the probe is measuring particle densities, magnetic fields, and details of cosmic radiation for the first time. The information about the transition between the solar system and galactic space is among the most important scientific discoveries of the century. With every kilometer that Voyager 1 travels, the signal is now getting weaker and communication is becoming more difficult. The transmission power is lower than that of a television, and NASA engineers are trying to keep Voyager 1 and its twin, Voyager 2, alive. The big anniversary of the exceptional probe's journey through space is reason enough to relive the most incredible discoveries made by both probes here and now. Active Volcanoes on Io In March 1979, Voyager 1 became the first probe to fly past Jupiter's moon Io, and the images it sent back caused a scientific sensation. The pictures showed huge volcanic eruptions. This made Io the first celestial body outside Earth on which active volcanism was detected an absolute novelty, because until then, our scientists had assumed that geological activity occurred exclusively on Earth. What Voyager discovered was overwhelming. The probe documented gigantic geysers that hurled sulfur vapors over 300 kilometers high into space. This is most likely caused by an effect that scientists refer to as tidal friction. Jupiter's immense gravitational pull tugs at I.O squeezing the comparatively tiny celestial body and causing friction inside it, which acts like an active core. The friction heats up the moon, resulting in the pronounced volcanic activity that we can see in these images. The surface of Io is covered with sulfur in a wide variety of colors, and it's constantly changing due to volcanic activity. Further missions have long since discovered many more of these active and very lively moons, which mainly orbit the gas giants Jupiter and Saturn. The Incredible Beauty of Saturn's Rings Saturn's rings were already known to medieval astronomers. In the early 1980s, Voyager 1 and 2 approached the majestic Saturn for the first time so close that the cameras showed something completely unexpected. The seemingly smooth and three-part ring system actually consists of thousands of delicate individual rings. The rings are finely structured, chaotically beautiful formations of ice, dust, and rock, and measurements taken by the probes showed that this beautiful ring system extends over 282,000 kilometers in width and is often only a few meters thick. The rings appear almost alive, and Saturn looks strangely quiet and dignified in the images. Gaps, dents, waves, and constantly changing patterns were revealed in the rings. Particularly fascinating are the so-called shepherd moons, tiny moons that, due to their gravity, most likely keep the rings in shape or sometimes cause gaps. Voyager also discovered the moon Pan, which plows through the Ankh Trench like a cosmic vacuum cleaner. The observations led to new theories about the formation of the rings 
and even allow conclusions to be drawn about the development of the entire planetary system. Rings like Saturn's could be miniature models of the early disks around young stars, and thus provide clues as to how planets form. Voyager's epic images were only surpassed decades later by the Cassini space probe and later supplemented by the spectacular filter images from the James Webb Space Telescope. Jupiter's Great Red Spot When Voyager 1 reached Jupiter, a very special phenomenon became the center of attention. The Great Red Spot. The spot had been known for centuries, but it had never before been observed in such detail and the high-resolution images of this trademark feature revealed the gigantic hurricane for the first time. The Great Red Spot is a weather phenomenon on Jupiter that is larger than Earth and has been raging continuously for over 300 years. Voyager showed that the spot consists of rotating bands of clouds, lightning, and winds reaching speeds of over 600 kilometers per hour. The colors are caused by chemical reactions in Jupiter's atmosphere and are thought to be triggered by sunlight and interactions between ammonia, hydrogen, and methane. It was particularly exciting that Voyager 1 discovered smaller storms and turbulence around the spot, some of which merged with it or were absorbed. Since its initial discovery, the spot has been meticulously studied, and scientists now know that it's constantly changing in size and shape. At times, a baby spot formed that was on its way to merging with its larger counterpart, and there are currently studies suggesting that the Great Red Spot could disappear in a few centuries. Neptune, the most extreme storms in the entire solar system. If you think the winds on Jupiter are extreme, you haven't seen Neptune's storms. When Voyager 2 reached Neptune in 1989, it was the first, and so far only, close encounter with the outermost planet in our solar system. Particularly spectacular was the discovery of a huge storm known as the Great Dark Spot, a vortex similar to the Great Red Spot on Jupiter, but deep blue, dark, and even more mysterious. The storm is the most violent weather phenomenon known in the solar system, approximately 13,000 kilometers wide and thus almost as large as Earth. It rages across Neptune with wind speeds of up to 2,100 kilometers per hour. Neptune consists mainly of hydrogen and helium and a small but crucial amount of methane. Methane absorbs red light and gives the planet its characteristic deep blue color. Uranus is upside down. Since Voyager 2 visited, we know that Uranus is the weirdest planet in the entire solar system. This is probably due to a completely shifted magnetic field that tilts the gas giant 60 degrees to its axis of rotation. Even inside, this planet is not centered, but curiously offset, causing Uranus to literally tumble through space similar to a crooked bicycle tire. Voyager recorded sudden fluctuations, strange radiation belts, and unexpected magnetic bubbles. It was as if Uranus was stumbling electromagnetically with every rotation. Overall, however, it has been doing well for billions of years, and that will probably continue for some time to come. Scientists suspect that this oddity is due to unusual layers inside the planet, Liquid ammonia or water with conductive properties are likely causing the anomalies with the magnetic field. The Pale Blue Dot Scientists and space enthusiasts today like to refer to this photo as probably the most humbling photo of humanity. On February 14, 1990, when Voyager 1 was already more than 6 billion kilometers away from Earth, the probe turned around one last time. On the instructions of researcher Carl Sagan, the probe took a look back on its epic journey and captured this image of our home planet. The photo became world famous under the name Pale Blue Dot. The Earth can be seen as a tiny pale dot of light, just 0.12 pixels in size, embedded in a ray of sunlight, no bigger than a speck of dust, almost lost in the endless blackness. Carl Sagan later described the image with the words, that's home, that's us, everyone you love, everyone you ever knew lived their life on this tiny point. This photograph is not a technical marvel. It is a philosophical turning point. It reminds us of our fragility and the need to preserve our small blue planet. Alien signal in interstellar space? Since Voyager 1 crossed the boundary of the solar system, the so-called heliopause in 2012, it has been flying through interstellar space. And there it made a strange discovery. 
a persistent, extremely low frequency background signal that seemed to come from nowhere. This signal manifests itself as a slight but constant plasma wave and has been received over several years. Unlike the typical plasma shocks that Voyager experienced when passing through solar winds, this signal is quiet but persistent, like a cosmic hum. Scientists are still unsure of its source. Is it plasma noise from the galactic medium? Or even some kind of techno-signature? The wildest theories suggest that this strange, regularly occurring technical hum or signal from space could be some kind of artificial sign, possibly even from a so-called Dyson Sphere. A Dyson Sphere is a hypothetical megastructure that an advanced civilization could build around a star to capture all of its energy. Trembling for Voyager 1 and 2, last signs of life from the darkness? Despite their legendary status, Voyager 1 and 2 are actually old-timers among space probes. Over 45 years old, with technology dating back to the 1970s and basically no more capable than a cassette recorder, the two are a real miracle. Despite the amazing resilience of these two long-distance travelers, there have been repeated dramatic failures in recent years that could have meant the end of their missions. In early 2023, Voyager 1 fell almost completely silent. The probe was only sending meaningless binary data, as if it had forgotten how to speak. The diagnosis was tricky. Part of the onboard electronics had been disrupted by a bit error, possibly triggered by cosmic radiation. NASA engineers had to proceed with surgical precision, and their months of patience were rewarded. Equipped with a new software package, Voyager 1 was able to speak again. Voyager 2 also had a dramatic incident in 2020. A faulty antenna alignment caused communication to be completely interrupted for several days. It was only thanks to precise planning and the huge 70-meter radio telescope in Canberra, Australia, that contact was re-established. Voyager 1 and 2 will continue to transmit until the early 2030s, provided there are no further malfunctions. Only when the power is completely depleted will they finally fall silent. We humans will then no longer be witnesses to the journey, but the flight of the Voyager probes will probably continue for millions of years. Subscribe to the channel now and experience many more exciting videos.